Okay, good morning, Gundam fan. Um, welcome back. And today we are taking a look at this guy. What was that? I am Gundam. <clears throat> All right. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's it's overwhelmingly big. Um. I don't, I don't know how to open a video apart from just look at that thing. Oh my God. Now, I pre-ordered this ages ago, um, April, May sort of time, and they did say that it was going to be released around June, July um, in the UK, but there was some sort of delays. Um, so I was waiting on an invoice from Hobby Zone UK, so where I got mine from. And um, and it sort of went dark, and there was lots of I mean, in our in whether it's gonna you know whether it's gonna be cancelled, whether we're gonna be getting them in the UK, whether I'm gonna get a refund. I saw a couple land in America. Um, I don't know whether it was Gundam Gundam Pros or Gundam US. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure, um, but I saw a couple of them over there. Uh, apart from that, the only thing I've ever seen uh, on the internet are resale, like, you know, people reselling them on eBay and, and whatnot. Um, so I don't know too much about the, the release window, when it's about, when it was out. I mean, it's a 2023 kit, so um, obviously it's been around for a little while, um, so it's not new news. Um, uh, but certainly in the UK, being able to get one, um, really, really grateful uh, to Hobby Hobby Zone UK for actually stocking these. Uh, I don't know how many they had, um, but like with all pre-orders, it's a bit of a lottery as to when your um, you, your your orders fulfilled. You know, I could have missed the window uh, in terms of uh, the first batch. It could have been the second batch, but they sent me a um, an invoice last week. I could have had this last week, but I didn't get paid until Friday. Uh, today of of time recordings Monday, uh, the sixteenth. So I could have had this. They sent me the invoice on the fifth. Um, so I could have had it on the you know a couple of days after that because when I when I fulfilled the invoice on Friday, this was delivered to me on Saturday. Free shipping as well. Um, I might send you an image of the invoice. I paid very very little for such a massive kit. Um, because they gave me 15% off as well as like the minus five for the pre-order. So that brought the price down. Uh, and, and I only paid 125 for this. Now, a lot of people might think, well, it's still a lot of money for a kit. Um, and uh, well, I would agree, you know, it's a lot of money. Um, but I paid less than I did for the Meng Evil One, um, less than any perfect grade. And <clears throat> and this is what you're getting in it. Um, I don't think it comes with a metal frame, although the frame here looks like it's it's built up. I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be uh, like a metal in a frame uh, and that comes in like a little blister pack and then you build it up. I'm not sure we're going to get to that soon. But the action base looks like an absolute event in itself. All those decals is like, nine sheets of decals plus these sheets and you get clear parts for the the dragoons and a whole plethora of stuff anyway pound for pound i think 125 pound for something that comes in a box the size of the neo Zeong isn't a bad deal um and if you can try and get it for around that price you're winning especially if it's free shipping um, I never pay shipping with uh, guy, the guys over at Hobby Zone. Um, I'm happy to tell you where where I got it from. It's a not it's not a paid uh, promotion. Um, you know they've not they're not sponsoring the video whatsoever. Um, but they've been good to me, so it's worth a shout out, right? Now this is 172 uh, scale, one 172 scale. Uh, go over some of the stats. Um, 1,108 parts, 27 centimeters height to head. 34 centimeters total height and 50 oh, 50 centimeters uh, 34 centimeters sorry and 50 centimeters wingspan it's half a meter wide that's insane and it comes with a step-by-step -step assembly okay so I'm, I'm glad it does come in the manual um 
This is made by... Duh, 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 duh. There's so much information on here. Who is this made by? Uh, Ainter, Ainter Industries. And this is their Level Ultimate. So I'm assuming the Level Ultimate means like their, their Magnum Opus or uh, their Perfect Grade style uh, range. I don't, I've never heard of Ainter Industries. Um, so I don't know whether they do like smaller kits or other sort of more mainstream um entry level sort of stuff uh this seems to be like a really really grand um huzzah uh, from them and I i'm only assuming that this is going to be a really successful uh product for them uh and you know in a couple of years we might see something else something else from them i am sorry um i am struggling with my words today i just put my left hand up in the air i'm not having a stroke um, I just got back from the garage because the car has um, a leak in the like the, the silencer, so I've got a new silencer. It's going, it's being installed. So <clears throat> I've just walked back from the garage, so I'm a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd make a start on this. It's eight o'clock in the morning, um, and I've I've flapped my gums enough. I mean, I don't know much else about the kit apart from it's a big, big kit from China with lots of pieces. Um, and in some instances, it kind of looks like a high new. Um, the knees, the elbows, um, and other bits. But like when you take off these dragoon funnels, I suppose, and you and you maneuver the wings, um, it could uh, very much look like a a high new or a reimagining of the high new. But it's very very spiky, very very sharp. Um, this image is really nice, but it, there's no real depth of field to show, you know, what's what. It's like, what am I looking at? It looks, it looks absolutely obnoxious, and I love it. Um, but when you look at some of the other, some of the other artworks, I mean, you can see it does look like a, a high new, especially with the, the backpack here and the funnels pointing down. Um, like I say, the elbow joints and the knees and the way, you know, it, it screams high new. Um, but very, uh, very stylized. Uh, some people might not like it. Some people might like it. Some people might go, "Yeah, it's not for me," um, and that's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get this box open. I do not know how I'm gonna do this. This is this is a massive box. Um, I've done PG unboxings before, but th this box is absolutely huge. Oh, sorry about that. It's huge. It's easily uh, nine inches deep. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, we're going to give it a try. Um, I might even have to jerry-rig it so I'm looking down uh, rather than like base level. So give me a second. I'll set it up and then I'll speak to you in a sec. All right, so I don't know how the audio is going to pick me up because I might be over here. Um, normally, I'm pretty close to the, 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 the actual camera itself, but here we are. Um, we're going to do this. I'm going to open this up and uh, go from there. I don't have one of those um, mics, those extra camera mics that you see people that other YouTubers wearing. don't have the technology. I do, however, have a teaspoon. There we go, it's all about the leverage. Okay, the box art continues on the inside. Holy crap. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs>
It is a graphic novel. Oh my God. This thing is insane. Oh, and it comes with photo etch as well. Oh, nice. Hey, Bandai will probably charge you, what, six, seven hundred quid for this? That's, that's something else. That's, that's beautiful. Freaking awesome. And that fell out of the top, so that's cool. Packaging. And, I, and I, something else I failed to mention, this box is probably the nicest box art. I mean, Bandai really do nice box art. We, all, we can all agree with that. Um, but I'm telling you, like, this box, the, the matte finish, um, the dark and lo-fi images and whatnot, uh, the presentation, all the details, it's in English as well as uh, Chinese. It's next level. They, they apps. This is this is a very very nice product, and uh, they've taken a lot of care in making sure that this is an event <clears throat> and something a lot a lot of companies are doing now um, is is well they're basically showing other companies up. Hold my beer, they're saying. Now this all might fall apart with the plastic quality. Might be crap. There might be no undergate. It might, you know, it might fall short on the actual plastic front. <clears throat> but you never know. Um, like I said, this is a this is a good start. Um, having something the size of like a Black Horse uh, Publications uh, graphic novel. Anyway, let's get that over there. Right. Where to start? With the top, I guess. Um, this has got a bag within a bag, which what they look like poly caps, but like solid. Um, so they're not squishy. They are. It says uh, PCS. So it says poly caps. But I don't know whether they're ABS or not. But they don't feel squishy. Um, and also the gates. D3, C1, C2. Very, very big. Very chunky. You can't miss them. So at a glance, um, I really like that. Because I'm always like, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And, oh, look. Massive. Can't miss it. Uh, in terms of undergating... It is undergated uh, on all the sharp edges. Um, some people don't like undergating. I do, especially when you want to have a nice, clean, flush uh, edge. A lot of people wins that it's more clean up. Okay, fine. You know, model making is all about, you know, Taking your time with the kit, making sure it's done right and not throwing it together. So you get, you know, the longer you spend on a model kit, the better outcome and the better, pro you know, the better end product or end end result. So there's a bag of dragoons. Uh, I'm calling them dragoons uh, because they fly off, um, but you could call them funnels. I guess dragoons are funnels. But in the cosmic era, they're not they're not driven by a uh, new type. Um, magic or, or whatever you want to call it. I, I can't remember. Uh, comment down below if you can educate me. I haven't seen Seed in a while. Um, but I don't think the Dragoons act on like new type. Um, but they, they there is that Seed that pops. Um, and so you get that Seed animation. So is Seed the same sort of thing as uh, new, new type? Is it like the Cosmic Heroes version? Like I say, let me know in the comments below because I haven't seen Seed in ages, but I do remember snippets and some people absolutely love Seed. I, you know, I'm all right with it. It's fine. I like the fight scenes in it, but the actual anime itself kind of kind of grates on my brain a little bit. This is a nice off-white. It's a really nice off-white. It's probably not going to translate on camera because it's quite dark in here. But all the parts are really sharp and the plastic feels really really nice so some more weaponry 
Again, really, really sharp scribing detail here on some of the parts. Uh, over a thousand parts, 1,100 or so. So the inner frame, yep, building up, there is no uh, metal frame, so that's nice. I mean, I do like a metal frame kit, but I also like building up uh, an inner frame as well. Had they given this a metal frame, it might have put it up to maybe 200 quid. So um, the fact that you're getting it for, for less than that is good because you're getting an absolute crap ton of plastic. So nice. All, all of the design, whoever whoever designed this tooling and the mould, fair play, sir. Really, really nice. Okay, so it comes with mixtures of metals. Um, I wasn't aware that it had gold. Um, but, but like I say, the image is really, really uh, low fire, so it's hard to see. But there is some really, really nice plated silver which I can't see whether it's undergated or not. And the gold is, yeah, so if the gold is, the silver is. So that's good. Some more um, sort of aluminium looking parts. These look like they're sprayed, but they're undergated as well, where it needs to be. Yeah, it's undergated all over the place. That's nice. Same with the gold. It's undergated where it needs to be, and obviously where it doesn't need to be, they haven't. <clears throat> this is might like like a dark blue, almost like a, a German grey. Very nice. This purple is very Eva in tone, uh, even Gelion Unit One sort of. You, and it does come with some hardware, some bolts and nuts in there. So that's cool. Uh, some whites. Uh, like I say, more all the sharp sharpness in the detail and all of the, the scribing detail. And there's even um, Katoki style uh, gaps in the armor, so you know some of the inner armor can come through. Oh my god. Here's the uh the base stand and effect parts. Um I will be getting the Cosmos kit for it, uh which will light up all the, the effect parts. And there's some uh, action display uh stands in there as well. And then the action display action display stand looks like the Batmobile. <laughs> It's five centimetres tall and it, it looks like something from the Bayverse. It's crazy. Oh, okay, it comes with metal parts as well. So you've got uh, probably hips, shoulders, or elbows, um, waist parts, I'm assuming. Uh, maybe something to do with the shoulders and a little screwdriver that comes with it and some hand. Uh, backhand parts and other bits in there as well. Absolutely insane. Um, I don't know whether the uh, the Cosmos set is available yet. Um, I know it's on pre-order on some websites. Um, but I am hoping to pick that up. Because I would like this to be my magnum opus. Because I want to paint this kit. The trouble I've got now is will everything go back in the box? Of course it will. Oh. Anyway. There we go, that's the Sky Defender in its entirety and that book. Wow. Um, photo etch, 
I think there might be a couple of sheets of decals in there. Uh, probably some sort of warranty or further instructions uh, for the metal parts. But I was not expecting that. That's that's something else. I'm really impressed by the, the presentation of this book. I mean, 1,500 parts. Now, the Meng uh, Eva 1 unit that I did, uh, did come with a big, thick book, um, but not as thick as this. So I, I can only imagine the uh, inside looking amazing. Um, I don't know whether to open this, but I think I'll save that for stream and do a reveal on the stream and open this up. Um soon so if you want to see this being snapped together uh please join the stream all the all my socials are down below leave any comments any questions down below as well i really really appreciate you guys for sticking around uh checking out the videos uh all the current subscribers and new subscribers and followers and stuff like that thank you so much uh wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for you all right i'm gonna bugger off now and uh yeah Hopefully I'll get a call from the Gary saying, oh, it's really nice. I've got to walk all the way back. Anyway, take care, guys. Really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt.